When Astro Radiance launches digitally on May 24th, it will bring a lot of good new cards to help out established decks. And while I realize an Arceus V-Star archetype will probably end up being the top deck out there, I wanted to focus on purely brand new decks coming from this latest set. An easy first place choice is Palkia V-Star. It's been dominating in Japan, and the longer I look at it, the more busted it becomes. Its V-Star power accelerates 3 water energy from your discard pile to your water Pokemon in any way you want. All of a sudden, your Shady Dealings Inteleon is a constant threat dealing 120 and sniping 20, and Radiant Greninja is always liable to just KO 2 Drizzle in one turn with minimal effort. Palkia V-Star isn't perfect though. If both players have small benches, you might struggle to deal 160 damage. Obviously, Choice Belt and Leon can help boost the damage, while Echoing Horn allows you to put another Pokemon on your opponent's bench. Additionally, there's one copy of Starmie V, which does 50 damage times the amount of energy your opponent has in play. While Palkia is likely stuck two-shotting everything big, Starmie can just show up at the right time and take a big one-shot knockout. As for supporters, you still want to have Melanie in the deck because you don't want to solely rely on Palkia's V-Star power for energy acceleration. The one copy of Roxanne can give you an edge in the late game, putting your opponent to two cards. Otherwise, this is your typical Inteleon engine deck with the added benefit of being able to attack with Inteleon without too much prep. For alternate lists, if you want a beefy Pokemon in your deck, throw in a 1-1 Ice Rider VMAX or maybe even a 2-2. You could also experiment with Cheryl if you truly wanted to annoy your opponents. The best decks out there right now can handle Mew VMAX as well as the rest of the field. Hisui and Samurott V-Star looks like it can do just that. By putting at least one damage counter on your opponent's active, Samurott V-Star does 220 damage without a choice belt. You achieve that with either Galarian Zigzagoon or Gapejaw Bog, the new stadium that puts two damage counters on any Pokemon that either player puts on the bench from their hand. You also play the Inteleon line to hopefully get a quick shooting at a key moment, Radiant Greninja to easily put energy in the discard pile and accelerate it later with Dark Patch, and a Hoopa V to deal with fighting types, though Samurott is weak to grass so it's not a huge concern. A crazy combo this deck can pull off is using Samrod's V-Star power to put 4 damage counters on a Sobble, then hit it with Medicham's Yoga Loop to take another turn immediately. And the best part, that Sobble can be on the bench and your opponent can have Manaphy in play. If grass decks do see a rise thanks to Gardenia, Samrod's probably a bad idea. Otherwise, just make sure you have a Choice Belt attached when heading into an Arceus V-Star and you should do fairly well. Gardenia's Vitality is basically just a Grass Welder, and Lilligant V-Star seems like it will be the perfect partner. To be honest, after Palkia and Samurott, the strength of new decks does go down a bit. Still, 230 damage for 3 energy is pretty good, especially with all of these Dark-type Pokemon running around with their Grass weakness. At the start of a game, Lilligant V is actually kinda busted, it draws you up to 6 for free. It only has 200 HP though, so you do have to be careful. After turn 1, you can beef up your grass Pokemon using Krikatune, which increases their HP by 40, though it doesn't stack. Then you evolve and use the Inteleon engine to get Energy and Gardenia into your hand. To help with consistency, Lilligan's V-Star power finds you any 5 in combination of grass Pokemon and grass energy. This eliminates the need to use something like Eldegoss, though the Gossifler Eldegoss combo isn't a terrible idea if you want to switch the list up a bit. And don't forget that you can deal 70 damage with Quick Shooting Inteleon since its attack uses 2 colorless energy. For alternate lists, you could run a Shaman V-Star to heal 120 damage from all of your Benchgrass Pokemon and deal big late game damage, or even Leafy on V and V-Star or VMAX, but I think just going hard on Lilligan is the key to victory here. I was originally going to limit this video to 3 decks, but I couldn't decide between Lilligan and Darkrai, so now it's 4. Darkrai V-Star isn't going to immediately start swinging for huge numbers, meaning you'll have a bit of a slow start, but by turn 3 you should be dealing massive damage. Darkrai V-Star's Dark Pulse does 30 damage plus 30 more for each Dark Energy attached to your Pokemon. Radiant Greninja gets energy in your discard pile, Dark Patch, and Galarian Moltres V accelerate it. There's also Raihan for another acceleration, plus Darkrai's V-Star power just goes and gets you 2 Dark Patch or 2 of any other item cards from your discard pile. The deck is super straightforward, it's really just a matter of getting as much energy as you can on the field as fast as possible and taking quick knockouts. Alternate attackers here are Hoopa V to hit fighting Pokemon for weakness, Weird Ear V to offer just a bit more power at the end of a game, and the Baby Galarian Moltres since it not only accelerates energy but also does big damage late. While I went with a conventional list, you can mix things up and go with a Weezing list. Weezing's ability doubles the amount of darkness energy attached to a Weezing, so load one of those bad boys up and you're good to go. It seems a little tougher to pull off since you need to add another evolution Pokemon, but if it works, it's much more powerful. And there you have it. My prediction for the top 4 new decks from Astro Radiance. It's worth keeping in mind that these lists aren't perfect. 
They'll undergo changes as we head into a new format, so think of these more as a guide than a strict 60 you can't change. Obviously there's plenty of good cards coming in Astro Radiance, so if you think Miltank or Decidueye V-Star or even Regigigas is the secret sauce, let everyone know in the comments.